Well, tax season is officially here, and you might notice some changes this year. Joining us to explain what you can expect is Herb Weisbaum with the Chicago Consumer's Checkbook. Thanks for joining us this morning. You're very welcome. So what would you say are some of the biggest changes that people should know about while they're filing their taxes this year? Well, there were no major changes this year, and by that I mean no new deductions or no new credits. What the IRS did is it tweaked things to account for higher than normal inflation that took place last year. So 6.5% on average is about what they did the tweaking for a bunch of things. There'll be some more money coming back for people who get tax credits. They also uh, changed the standard deduction to account for uh, inflation. That's what most taxpayers, 90% of taxpayers take. And they changed the tax brackets and the thresholds for the different to seven different tax brackets. And that's to keep from uh, happening what's called bracket creep, where you get a cost of living adjustment because of inflation, and that bumps you into a higher tax bracket, and you wind up paying more money. This is designed to compensate for that for folks who did get a raise because of higher inflation. Now, if you find yourself actually owing some money to Uncle Sam this year, what are some of your best options in, uh, for what you should do to repay? The best way to pay... Uh, is or the best way to file your return no matter what is to file electronically and to file uh, if you get if you're getting money back and that's what people are going to be doing now the early filers are getting money back the average refund last year was twenty seven hundred dollars is file electronically and use direct deposit to get the money back into your account if you do that and don't have any errors on your tax return the IRS says you'll get your money back in 21 calendar days or less if you file by paper they're talking four weeks or more so you clearly want to do this electronically if you possibly can. And what do you suggest for folks? Should they try to do them this for themselves, maybe online, or maybe go seek a professional? How do you kind of find that threshold? Well, it depends how complicated your tax return is. You can certainly start, if you have an adjusted gross income of uh, $79,000 or less, uh, you can uh, try to use the free file service that the IRS offers. They work with eight tax companies around the country, and they will help you uh, prepare your return online and file it for free. Uh, that's the one way to start. There's also a lot of assistance available, <coughs> military families, for seniors, for disabled, a lot of things you can do without having to pay a tax preparer. Obviously, you need to do that if it's something complicated. And you can find that all on the IRS website, irs.gov. Please do not just search free tax filing or free help because you have no idea where you're going to wind up. You could wind up on a scammer's website. You want to get all the information from the IRS website, irs.gov. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Herb. You're very welcome. I hope you get a, re a refund that's big. I certainly <laughs> do too as well, right? I guess